Welcome to Bolt Energy USA. This is the 36 volt EasyGo TXT installation video. This step by step guide will demonstrate how to convert your TXT from the traditional lead acid batteries to the best golf cart battery on the planet. Bolt Energy USA. Your Bolt battery will come with either the standard or the professional installation kit. The standard installation kit includes must-have items for converting your vehicle to a lithium battery. This kit is great for golf cars that have already been restored or upgraded. The professional kit is the most complete installation kit on the market and comes with everything you need to convert to a lithium battery and update your golf cart to today's standards. In this video, we will be installing the professional installation kit. Make sure your key switch is in the off position and put the golf car in tow mode. Identify and remove all wires from the main positive and negative post. Next, using the provided battery pullers, remove your old lead acid batteries and completely clean your battery compartment. Start by replacing the OEM charge receptacle. On the back of the charge receptacle, there are three wires. The white and black are the main charging wires, and the small red wire is the charger interlock wire that runs to the controller. Disconnect the charger interlock wire and free the black and white wires for removal. Using a drill bit, remove the mounting rivets that hold the receptacle in place. Remove and discard the OEM charge receptacle and charging wires. Install the bolt cover plate with the provided screws. Insert the Bolt Energy USA AC port replacement and attach it to the cover plate with the provided hardware. Secure the onboard charger to the battery compartment. Locate the charger interlock cable from the charger's signal port and plug it into the red charger interlock wire from the golf cart. This will keep the charger interlock safety feature active by not allowing the vehicle to operate while the charger is plugged in. Plug in the charger input cable to the AC port. Secure the charger pigtail to the green charger output cable by clicking it into place. Install the high output 30 amp 12 volt reducer and plug in the reducer's wiring harness. We will quickly go over each wire in the harness. The green wire will be extended, routed to the dash area, and secured to the cold side of the key switch. The yellow and black wires are the 38 volt supply for the 12 volt reducer. We are going to put the provided eyelets on the ends and secure them to the bolt battery terminals. The red wire is the 12 volt supply, and the blue wire is the 12 volt constant supply for accessories with memory. To hook up your 12 volt accessories, run the red 12 volt output wire to your 12 volt load, then ground your accessories at the B negative post. We recommend using a fuse block for golf cars with two or more 12 volt accessories. Take a photo of your solenoid for reference and remove and discard the main positive cable. Disconnect all other wires and remove the solenoid. Install the Bolt Energy USA 400 amp high output solenoid and install all wires exactly how they came off the OEM solenoid. Secure the new 2 gauge main positive wire to the solenoid using a 17 mm socket and torque wrench. Tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Remove the original main battery negative wire at the B negative terminal on your controller with a 13 mm socket or wrench. Then secure the new 2 gauge main negative cable in its place. Tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds.
Set the mounting brackets inside the battery tray and hand tighten the passenger side bracket using the supplied hardware. Measure 12 and 1 quarter inch between the mounting holes. Mark the center of the opposite bracket's mounting slots and drill a mounting hole for each side. Hand tighten the bracket and recheck your measurements. Once you have 12 and 1 quarter inch on each side, go ahead and secure the brackets to the battery tray using your 13 millimeter socket and wrench. Set the Bolt Energy USA 38 volt battery on top of the mounting brackets and line the battery up with the mounting holes. Finalize by securing the battery to the brackets with the provided 13 millimeter mounting hardware. The Bolt battery is secured to the compartment with absolutely zero room for movement. Plug the state of charge meter wiring harness into the display port. Route the harness along with the extended green wire from the 12 volt reducer up to the dash area. Keep all wires above the bottom of the frame by securing them to existing wiring harnesses. Remove the TXT cup holder and access the key switch panel. Hold the routed wires up into the dash area. Identify the cold side of the key switch and secure the green wire in using a dual spade connector or wire jumper. This will activate the 12 volt supply when the key switch is in the on position. Cut a hole for the state of charge meter using a 2 and 1 inch hole saw. Pull the meter harness through the hole and connect it to the state of charge meter. Insert the meter and secure it to the dash panel with the bracket and wing nut provided. Do not push the center of the state of charge meter when pressing it into the dash. Starting with the positive terminal, go smallest to biggest, biggest touching the terminal. The smallest wire is the yellow wire from the 12 volt reducer. Next is the positive wire from the charger pigtail. And the final and largest wire is the main positive cable. Using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench, tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. On the negative side, start with the negative wire from the 12 volt fuse block. Next is the black wire from the 12 volt reducer wiring harness, followed by the black wire from the charger pigtail. And the final wire is the main negative cable from the controller. Once secured to the terminal, tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench. Finalize by inserting the terminal covers to prevent cross terminal arcing. Install the Bluetooth adapter into the BT port on the battery. Use the magnet on the back side of the adapter to secure it to the top of the battery. Now that the battery is installed and ready to be tested, turn the battery on by pressing the on off button. The button will illuminate. Put the golf cart into run mode. Key switch in the on position. Select forward and lightly press the accelerator until the solenoid clicks and the golf cart moves. It is highly recommended to run a complete charge cycle before using the battery. Plug your Bolt Energy USA extension cord into any 120 volt electrical outlet and plug the other end of the extension cord into the golf car's AC port to activate the onboard charger. The charger will run a complete charge cycle and shut off when finished. While your Bolt battery is charging, Go ahead and download the Bolt Energy USA mobile application from the Android or iOS app stores. The Bolt Energy mobile application shows battery data in real time, but the best feature of the mobile app you'll probably never need to use. The Send Data feature allows a Bolt Energy technician to remotely diagnose your battery in the rare event of a warranty claim and ensures the process is simple and efficient. Thank you for choosing Bolt Energy USA, the best lithium golf cart battery on the planet. We hope this video answered all of your questions. 
If you need additional information or would like to purchase a Bolt Energy USA battery, please visit the links in the description of this video. We highly recommend the dealer locator link to find a Bolt Energy USA authorized dealer near you. You can contact a Bolt Energy representative through our website, social media channels, or you can call us during normal business hours. We appreciate you watching and we appreciate you being a part of the Bolt Energy USA team. Thank you.